Guys, I have recently been sent this new helmet from HJC, which is their new make, model and style called the Bellus. First and foremost, it's got many of the usual features that come with the quality of an HJC helmet. Um, let's dive in with uh, this snap fit in the uh, heel of the helmet, which basically just sits nice and comfortable against the back of your head. It can be adjusted inside the helmet. This took me a while to figure it out when I first got the helmet. I'm used to a twisty dial in the helmet, but you can basically pull these out, move them up and down, so it adjusts to the size. I have a medium size helmet. I don't know whether that says I've got a medium size head, but this seems to fit me very well. And this weighs 225 grams. First and foremost, you might see that the style is slightly different to some of the H other HJC helmets, slightly broader, kind of a little bit of that kind of gravelly vibe, not necessarily marketed as a gravel helmet, but definitely kind of get that little kind of really cool stylized vibe and, and uh, not quite like the Ibex where it's all just everything directional from front to back. I think it looks very cool. Importantly, especially for me, there are designated sunglass holding holes within the helmet. So this is specifically designed to be able to hold some sunglasses, which if you are a bit of a fashionista or you like to look good on the bike, that is absolutely vital. Let's dive into some of the key features of the helmet. I did mention the weight, 225 grams. I will say that HJC has a proprietary technology system uh, that is similar to, I, I posted about this the other day on social media and when someone was talking about MIPS, they have their own proprietary system called SLID and it's to do with the rotational torque uh, impact and this is all built into the helmet. So HJC are very much on top of the high end safety aspects when it comes to looking after your head and the rotational impact or the rotational forces that you might encounter when you are in an impact. That basically means that the helmet itself doesn't actually sit on the head because then if you the helmet rotates, forces your head to rotate. There is a little, uh, there's gel pads and a little bit of give within, built in inside the helmet that effectively uh, allow some rotation of the helmet during impact before it forces your head to rotate, uh, which has a massive, or has a big impact on uh, the consequences of any uh, unfortunate accident or incidents. The usual 16 vents with the airflow system, I think that's fairly standard for a lot of uh, helmets, you know, airflow and just to make sure that your helmet and your head is very well ventilated. And then there are a few kind of key reflective features at the back of the helmet, again, as another safety feature. At the moment, this helmet comes in three colors. We have the matte brown, the matte white with a little bit of a kind of shiny white as well. And I believe all of them at the moment, there's three colors, black, white, and brown. I think they all have like a matte color on top and then a more uh, gloss color uh, underneath. Three new colors are being launched in the middle of July. So it is start of July at the moment. So only a few weeks, I actually don't know what colors they are gonna be. I think it's a very stylish helmet. I like the look of it and it retails about 180 pounds if you dive onto the Saddleback website. I think it ticks a lot of boxes for me. I hope you guys think the same. I like the fact that it's a very different style, slightly wider, as I said, or it looks slightly wider. Um, maybe that's just the, the style and design. It fits very well on my head. I like the look of it, and I've kind of enjoyed riding in it so far. So go and check it out. Check it out on the Saddleback website. Have a look for yourself. Three colors at the moment, three more new colors on the way. Let me know what you think, guys, the uh, HJC Bellis helmet.